Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be about airplanes and guns. So if you're planning a trip to go somewhere and you want to bring your gun with you, you may be thinking that because you're traveling on a plane that that option just doesn't exist for you. Um, well, that's, that's not true. You do have the option of bringing your gun with you. You just can't wear it onto the plane. It has to go into the checked luggage, meaning it goes in the belly of the plane where you don't have access to it. The process is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, the requirements for it are that, uh, well, one, you be <laughs> uh, lawfully able to, to carry guns, um, meaning you're not a felon or anything. But the, the simple uh, requirements are you need a hard case box or container, something like a Pelican case here. Um, and it has to have locking ports on them so that you can put a lock on it cannot be one of those soft uh, pistol cases you know that you know like a little tiny case that holds just a pistol and you take the pistol out and you can fold the case in half uh, it cannot be one of those it has to be a hard sided case it doesn't matter if it's made out of plastic or metal it just has to be hard sided and have uh, locking ports on there to, to add padlocks on there Aside from that, uh, the other requirements as far as uh, the storage of the firearms, the guns cannot be loaded, um, and nor can the magazines have any ammunition in them. So you'll have to put in your box, uh, just a, a regular ammo box, this will work perfectly fine. Just download all your uh, magazines and put the rounds in here and, and seal it up. Uh, I've gone ahead before in the past and just to make sure that from the rattling and stuff like that that an end don't come open and and rounds spill out i've taken tape and just put it around the edges right there because any literature that you read on the websites they're, they're really big about no loose ammunition um spilling around inside the box and they really don't want your magazines uh sitting in there without um uh, covers on them so there was one airline that the way their literature road or, or read it uh, it sounded like they were okay with a magazine being loaded you just had to have like tape or something over the top of it so the rounds just couldn't fall out I don't like that idea uh, P mags with the dust cover thing on top uh, under certain airlines that may be an acceptable acceptable practice having the PMAG loaded but then having that dust cover clipped onto the top of it and the rounds not being able to fall out that may work for some of them you just have to to read the fine print for each of those um, uh, airlines your best bet in my opinion is just to download the magazines put the rounds in, a, in the regular factory box and then just put tape on the ends that way things don't come open and rounds spill out on the inside they don't talk about the round or the, the firearms having to have the slide locked back or an empty chamber indicator inserted in there or anything it doesn't say anything like that so i've always just unloaded the gun and put the gun back in the holster just unloaded and there's never been an issue with that before i've also added my fighting light in the box in the past so i'll just throw it in there because uh, i just don't want to go through the hassle of of tsa potentially saying i can't bring it onto the plane with me and then me being stuck with having to possibly throw the thing away uh, that's just an unacceptable um scenario for me so i just throw it in the box that way uh, get off the plane and you know get this out or whatever all my fighting stuff is is in the box um, I've also included uh, in the box in the past I went ahead and just threw my medical gear in here which the times in the past that I've flown I did not have this uh, medical ankle holster I just had little contents that was inside of it and I would just throw it in there and that would be that I've also uh, carried uh, additional spare magazines with me I just you know again download the magazine and I just put the magazine back into the magazine pouch and uh, just throw it inside the case there. 
as far as um, what you need to do when you want to carry a gun on there, uh, basically when you arrive at the airport, you just go to the to the counter uh, for that airline that you'll be flying on, and uh, you check in. And you say, "Hey, I just you know I need to declare my firearms." And the times I've done it, as no one acted adversely, that no one acted weird or strange, like, oh my God, he's got guns, ah. It was a very matter of fact thing. Uh, they've obviously just have experienced it before, nothing new to them. Um, my first time I was like, man, I'm gonna say I needed to clear guns. And they're gonna be like, oh, 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 call DSA, oh, 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 oh. No, it was just very nonchalant uh, reaction to it. Uh, but you tell them you want to declare your firearms, and they'll hand you this little card. It's about the size of a of a of a uh, uh, can't think of the word of it uh, postcard, I guess you could say, maybe a little bit smaller. And you just write down your name and info on there, like name, phone number, address, whatever. Um, and on the other side, you know, it'll say like firearm or whatever. You know, have like little list of rules on there. Pretty simple. Uh, you just fill out your name and you throw it in the box and you close the box and lock it. Um, I've never had anybody want to inspect the contents of the box. No one has asked me to show and prove that my guns are unloaded, that the ammo is in a box or anything like that. At times that I've done it, I just go to the counter tell them I have firearms to declare, they give me a little card, I fill it out, throw it in the box, lock it, and um, put it in the suitcase, and then it goes through the conveyor belt. Presumably, it goes through a metal detector, and then uh, the baggage handlers take it, and they put it in the belly of the plane. Pretty simple process. Um, one thing I think I may have forgot to mention is um, for every port on this box you have to be able to put a lock it has to have a lock on there so for something like this it's pretty simple and easy to go out and buy uh, a two lock kit or whatever and just put them on there if you have a rifle case and that thing has like six points around that case that you can add a lock you're gonna have to have six locks on that thing you cannot have any empty uh ports uh, where a lock can go through it has to have a lock in there and when it comes to locks it cannot be a tsa approved lock and what i mean by that is if you have just a regular suitcase and you want to put a lock on it tsa wants you to have a tsa approved lock something that they can themselves very easily open for inspection purposes they got uh, a lot of common master keys to a lot of common locks uh, or TSA approved locks and they just insert their grand master key and they unlock that lock, go through your suitcase and see what's in it. I've had that happen before. Um, I'll get to my destination and you know get to the hotel room, I'll open up my suitcase and boom, there's a letter in there from TSA letting me know that they went through my bag. Um, <coughs> And uh, I had a lock on there, and obviously, you know, they got, you know, their little master keys or whatever that unlocks it, and they rummage through my stuff, and then obviously nothing was in there, <laughs> but uh, I think I had a couple of glow sticks or something in there, um, and paracord or something. I, I can't remember what all I had in there, but I just remember getting back to the hotel room and opening up the suitcase and find that letter that um, TSA was notifying me that they had selected my, my luggage to go through. Um, but uh, the locks, uh, TSA, um, they don't want a TSA approved lock on there. They want a lock that only you can open. They don't want an easily opened lock. It's just a lock that you can open. So you keep the keys with you. You don't, you don't have to give the keys to anyone else. Um, if they need you to open the box for whatever reason, they'll have you come open it and you're there the whole time and then you lock it back up and you keep the keys with you. Um, there shouldn't be any, any situations where a TSA person will come to you and be like, hey, can we have the, the keys to your gun case? Uh, we'll bring them right back. Um, 
I've never heard of anything like that. None of that should be going on. Uh, their protocols are you are the only one with the keys of that box and you're the only one who needs to be opening it. And now, of course, if they need to be able to open that box without you uh, being there, they've got uh, bolt cutters and they'll just they'll just cut the cut the locks off. I've heard some horror stories of this being an experience with some people, um, them not being able to uh, be there to open locks for them and they just cut them open with the padlock. I don't know the full story behind why that happened. It could be a situation where uh, they left one of the guns loaded or something like that and uh, where they had loose ammo inside the box and the x-ray machine detected it. Uh, but that card that is inside the box, you can't get to it unless you take the locks off. Uh, so what I've done is, I'm not, I'm not going to show it, I don't want to throw all my info out there, but on the, on the lid of the case here, on this side under my hand, I've taken a logo, or not a logo printer, but a, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, just a little, um, a little tag printer thing, and um, a little sticker printer, and uh, I've typed out my name, hit print, put the sticker on there, typed out my phone number, stuck it on there, typed out my email, and stuck it on there. That way, my contact info was on the outside of this box, and if for whatever reason, um, TSA was needing to get a hold of me over some discrepancy within the box, I at least put two forms of communication on there so they can get a hold of me. That way, if the PA system wasn't working or something like that, they could at least try to make an, an attempt to call or email me before they cut those locks off. But I haven't had any of those, any of those problems happen to me. I've just read about them on the internet, but there wasn't a whole lot of info to go on with it, so I can't really expound any further uh, on that issue. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> But yeah, flying with guns is a pretty easy, simple process. It's not as hard as you as you think that it would be or it could be. You just go in, you tell them you want to declare your firearms, you fill out this little contact card kind of thing, throw it in the box, put two locks on there that only you have access to or you have the ability to unlock, and uh, it goes into checked luggage. Um, goes on the plane, and then when you get off the plane, here's one more thing I need to add. Uh, when I've gotten off the plane, uh, this box was always stored in a suitcase with clothes and stuff. Um, but since this was in that suitcase, they never put that suitcase on the carousel for you to, for me to be able to retrieve the suitcase. Uh, since it was flagged as having a firearm in there, the suitcase was, uh, taken off the plane and instead of being putting on everything and taken to the carousel, they took it directly to um, that uh, that airline's uh, little booth or office inside the airport there. So I had to go directly to you know um, the airline desk and get my suitcase from them because they just wouldn't put it on the carousel for anyone else to be able to reach and have access to. So that was the only the only minor hiccup, I guess you could say, uh, with flying was it wasn't an easy process just to get your luggage back. You had to go to their little office and get it. If you have any questions or comments related to this, go ahead and leave them down in the comments section. And if you uh, plan on on vacationing uh, after all this COVID-19 hysteria um, and you want to take your guns with you, then you can. It's a pretty easy, pretty, pretty easy process. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense, thank you for watching.